if it is that we're respecting each other, not just as politicians, but as citizens and respecting the democracy, no entity should be at large. No entity should be essentially using media interviews to coerce, to intimidate, to shame persons on one side of the political spectrum to sign a document. They have not even had proper consultations with those persons on. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Anissa Bell Rose. Blessings one and all. I'm back with another video, guys. But before I get into it, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me, guys. When I have to hit that notification bell so you can get notified, guys. Guys, also, guys, remember to run over my other platform, Instagram and Facebook. And follow me at Anissa Bell Rose over there, just the same, guys. Guys, remember to check out the YouTube store if you see anything on it. Guys, feel free to make a purchase and watch out all of the video for me, guys, please. And watch the ads on the video, guys. Now, I'm going to jump into it. So, in this video, guys, it's going to be about, you know, the Integrity Commission, I see, um, versus Nesta, the Information Minister, versus the Prime Minister, Andrew Olness, guys. So, this, um, I guess, this one has to do with... The whole um, declaration thing that I did a video on previously. So you can check out that video there as well, guys. So it reads in an article that I see where the Minister for Responsibility with Information, that is Robert Nesta Morgan, is questioning the process by which the Integrity Commission has sought to have the politician sign off on its leadership code of conduct. Right? So I see sent out a code of conduct for them sign off pan saying that you know he wants them to um sign off saying that they vote to you know be selfless, they vote to integrity, they vote to objectivity, they vote to accountability, they vote to openness, they vote to honesty and leadership. Right? But Nesta is having a problem because he's saying that um if um integrity commission want all of them to sign this particular code of conduct then why has they sent it directly to the prime minister andrew Oles? so he's having a problem with that you understand and he's saying that prime minister andrew Oles is not responsible for letting other persons sign the code of conduct the integrity commission should have sent out that um individually to each person each member of parliament so guys, the fact that them send it directly to Prime Minister Andrew Oles, it have me thinking, guys. I'm not sure if you're thinking I don't down the same line that I'm thinking. Because he has not declared his assets from 2021, guys. And I don't see where them want them for vote to openness and all of that that I stated initially. That is what the code of conduct is about. And the fact that them send it directly to Prime Minister Andrew Oles. I indirectly them want to sign it so that they can get the information for him to be um open, for him to be selfless and all of that guys. When you think about it, he has not signed his declaration asset yet from twenty twenty one and we not twenty twenty three now guys. So let's see the conflict right there between IC, the Prime Minister and the information minister now the information minister nesta morgan is saying that he has not seen this um code of conduct right whilst it is saying that others have seen it the members of the opposition um have seen it and about six of them have signed off on it from five months ago so they tell me guys what you think about this i'm gonna play some recordings you know of Nesta um Morgan explaining he's explaining and saying that you know he not think it right for them to send it to the prime minister directly and they should have sent it out individually it seemed like oh when they want them to declare them assets them send them individual letters reminding them to that such and such time them have to declare them assets but the fact that our prime minister Andrew Oles uh, alone get it I feel to say 
the more him for definitely be open, be selfless, full of integrity, be truthful, be honest. So him them really are trying to get that because he has not um signed off on that declaration thing. I guess they want more information. I'm not sure. Allegedly, me assume that. You know, based on this um, information that I'm getting, guys. So, the comment down below and tell me what you think, guys. Please and thanks. But before me, me, me say anything more, when I listen to the recordings and, and tell me what you think. I've never seen it. Every year, the Integrity Commission sends me a letter to come to Parliament with a four minutes for me to make my statutory declaration and a reminder that I need to make my statutory declaration for the calendar year by the end of March following year. If it is that you want me to sign a code of conduct, why not write to me and say, we're proposing this code of conduct, please sign. That has never been done. I've never seen the document. It has never been presented to me. The Integrity Commission interacts with us on an individual basis. When I'm submitting my integrity report, I do not go to the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister, look at this for me and see if it is okay. I interact directly with the Integrity Commission. There is nothing in the law that says the Integrity Commission should use the Prime Minister as a conduit to interact with members of Parliament. Let us start at the right place, I think. There is nothing wrong with the Integrity Commission preparing codes of conduct. As a matter of fact, if you read Section 6 of their law, one of their functions, is to prepare codes of conduct and other advisory materials related to corruption and guide public bodies in respect of matters within the purview of the act. So let us put that on the table that I'm not challenging their role in preparing codes of conduct. What I am challenging is the process. So when you hear the recordings, guys, on the time when you think, you know, if it might make sense, and then he's trying to accuse the Integrity Commission of saying that um, they might run to the media for, for, for intimidate um, persons to sign this code of conduct that they have never seen. So how is it that um, six members from the opposing party has signed off on it five months ago, but yet still, only not see it none time at all? I don't mean, I mean, I get it, guys. Only tell me what you think about this, guys. Comment in the comment section, guys. And let us reason together. All right, that's the end of this video for now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Please and thanks. I'm on the road to 2K. Run it up for me, guys. And continue to support the channel. And thanks to all of the support that I've been getting on the channel, guys. We have some loyal people who have been commenting and, you know, interacting with the channel and all of that. So I just want to give a shout out to each and every one of them. I don't remember everybody's name right now, but thanks, guys. And... As I said, continue to grow with me. Continue to support the channel. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next video. Big up.